Bordeaux. He's the president of the Cajun Navy Relief Organization, and they are already hard at work. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time, Sean. I know you, that you uh, intend to be very busy in the coming days. Uh, already are, actually, right? Yes. Uh, again, thank you for having us. Uh, I appreciate you all, including us. Um, it's yeah. always one of those things whenever you come to potential uh, storm weather like this, you've always got to prepare. Uh, and that's what we've been doing for at least a week now, uh, getting mm -hmm. things staged and ready, having all of our assets in place. And now we're looking for the right connections with municipalities or counties who need help so that we can reach out and assist where needed. Yeah. Um, tell us, how does that work and what have you done so far? I mean, will will you be heading down to the Bahamas? I mean, we've seen the images uh, coming in from there and it's really, I mean, we keep using the word catastrophic, um, but I don't know what else would describe it. I, I mean, that, that it's a disaster, you know, by definition. Um, it's when whatever resources you have get it completely exhausted. You do everything you can, but it's a situation that's just that terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, we would do everything, we are doing everything possible to assist in the Bahamas situation uh, as far as trying to arrange for uh, supplies to go towards the coastline that can be sent over. Same thing with uh, Pet Rescue. We've got a, a Pet Rescue organization that's working with us right now. Uh, so they are also staging equipment and getting things lined up to help assist with any pets coming back. But you have an issue with customs and crossing uh, more than just a state line, you're dealing with another country here. Yeah. So there's some more complications in this issue. Um, makes it a little difficult, but at the same time, we're doing everything we can to pool whatever uh, private industry, private assets, uh, other nonprofits, mm -hmm. put everything together as a comprehensive, like, here's what we can offer. Yeah. Uh, should the need arise, we are ready. And you're in Florida right now. That's where you're joining us from. Um, but as we've seen, this hurricane, uh, different than any others in that it's set and it, it's we're just sitting and spinning for so long. We're not exactly sure where it's going to hit, but from Florida, Georgia, the Carolina coast, uh, the Cajun Navy is ready, as you were saying. Absolutely. I mean, it's something that we do uh, because we are compassionate about our neighbors. We want to help folks. And uh, we've been to the Carolinas. This will be our third deployment since 20, you know, 2016. Uh, then again for Hurricane Florence, and if this were to go that direction, we've been there before. Uh, we have some good relationships with some of the counties, and we look forward to working with some of the fire departments and other areas that we've worked before. It's unfortunate circumstances, but yeah. uh, we're building good working relationships. You know, I was part of. I'm helping. sorry. I was listening to you talk to uh, someone else, and you were saying that you know you've been a part there of the Cajun Navy since 2016. It's not just an organization; it's a family. Yes, very much so, um, because it can't be uh, something that is, is uh, so localized. The, the impact of disaster is much larger than we are as individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, it's much larger than just Cajun Navy Relief itself. Yeah. It relies on other organizations well, sh to work together Sean, you know, to make everything. Good work. luck. We appreciate all the Thank work that your organization is doing. Thank and you. And if anybody's interested, please see CajunNavyRelief.com. Yeah. We'll be right uh, back. To request help.